All right, what's going on guys? If you are a recruitment firm or a staffing company, I'm gonna show you how you can generate leads completely automated, completely hands-off with people that are actually looking for your service and are willing to pay you the top dollar. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Nick Abraham. I'm the founder at leadbird.io. We manage the cold email campaigns and the lead gen campaigns for over 105 active clients. I'm gonna walk you through the exact playbook that we install for recruitment firms and staffing companies to help them generate high quality leads. So let's get right into it. So step one is finding high intent leads that are actually hiring for specific positions. So a high intent lead for a recruitment company is a hiring manager that has an active job post for a position that you can staff or recruit for. And so you can pull that data from LinkedIn jobs using a couple of tools that we've built internally and what we're basically doing is trying to identify the hiring manager that's associated with a job post on LinkedIn. And what we found is that 20 to 40% of every job post on LinkedIn has a specific hiring manager that's associated with the job post. So it's super easy to pull that data, you know, be able to send them a cold email campaign, book a call and so forth. But there is a huge chunk of LinkedIn job posts that don't have a hiring manager associated with the job post. So we have to use some logic to identify who is the proper person to reach out to at the company that could know about the actual job post right and so all we're doing is looking at the search term that we or like the position that you know the company is hiring for and we try to find senior positions to that so let's say for example you know you find a job post for a product manager I need to now find the senior positions that a product manager would report to because they're probably you know in the loops of the hiring decision when it comes to that product manager and you could use chat GPT to identify that and you basically want to just make calls to sales navigator to say okay hey does this company have a director of product manager Management. No. Okay. Well, let's continue. Does this company have a VP of product management? No. Let's keep going. Does this company have a chief product officer? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Now let's take him, make him the hiring manager per se, and let's figure out his information and add him into the campaign. So that's kind of what this logic is when it comes to trying to identify the other 60 to 80% that don't have a specific hiring manager associated with a job post. And it's been pretty successful. So step two is scraping, verifying, and building the lead. List. So we built this internal tool called export LinkedIn jobs. .io. You can actually just pull the entire search on LinkedIn jobs for you. Some of the downsides of LinkedIn jobs is that it only allows you to scrape the first thousand results per search. So if you see a search for product managers in the United States and the total search has, let's say 50,000 results, you have to break it up into tiny batches of a thousand each by just breaking up the search. And then you also need to be a little careful of removing all the leads that have the hiring managers company industry belonging in the recruitment industry because typically these are recruitment firms that are posting on behalf of their clients. So there's no point of emailing a recruiter to sell them a recruitment service, right? It just doesn't make much sense. And one thing we've also noticed is that if we apply the filter easy apply on LinkedIn jobs, a higher percentage of searches will have a hiring manager associated with the job post. And so this once again helps us at scale. And basically we'll pull the search. We will add the logic to identify other people that, you know, may not be associated with the job post. And we take all that data, we put it through better contacts to identify the emails of the recipients. Now, you know, we have found relevant companies that are hiring for specific positions that we can staff or recruit for. And then we're identifying the hiring manager. And if we don't have the hiring manager, we're finding someone that's relevant to the role. So that's like almost perfect. And then to further get more emails, we take all the catch-alls that Better Contact gives us and we put it in a scrubby to once again, just get more data. And so that's the entire process right there. We've automated that entire process right there in one go. We just need the LinkedIn job search URL and everything else right there is automated and more. So let's kind of keep going in on what we do on the email copy side. So we see the best results when we're able to name drop where we saw them for and kind of mention why we're reaching out. So our favorite email script that has been working really great is this ex exactly as you see it. It's basically spinning the greeting and saying, I saw your job posts hiring for a position on LinkedIn jobs. We have a couple of resumes that fit your job description that I'd be happy to send over. Would it make sense to connect? And so the first reason why this works so well is we're using spin tax. So we're spinning different variations of the greeting, the close and so forth. And by doing so, each email is individually unique, which helps us avoid the spam filter. And then the second reason why it works so well is that we're showing intent. We're emailing people and standing out by making the specific claim of why we're reaching out to them. So now it makes sense where it's not just a mass blast, it's an actually tailored email. And then we use quicklines.ai, which is another tool that we own 
to hyper personalize each email. Quick Lines is basing its data off of LinkedIn and it's pulling the data to create the line from the LinkedIn profile of the hiring manager. And if we can come in and say that we found them on LinkedIn in that second line, the Quick Lines that's pulling from the LinkedIn, once again, just makes it seem like we actually did the research to find them. And so this is our simple script that converts really well. And then step four is just taking everything that you have, right? The lead list, the email copy, and then putting it into your sequencer. So we use Smart Lead. Smart Lead is the sales engagement platform that we recommend. And there's so many reasons why. Unlimited inboxes, unlimited warm-up emails for great deliverability. So you're actually landing in the primary folder. The sub sequences to automate the inbox management, and it has the greatest API for any sales engagement platform. Once again, we've automated this entire process. You give us a job search URL. We will write the copy, which I just showed you above. We'll take care of scraping all the hiring managers and identifying anyone relevant to the job post and pushing them into a campaign inside a smart lead. And the cool thing is, is that we can run this on a weekly basis completely hands off. So I'm able to run this search on a weekly basis and never have to worry about it. Just sit back and relax. And then we implement sub sequences to once again, automate the inbox management. So let's kind of talk about sub sequences. So what sub sequences are is it's a way to just kind of do the follow-ups within your outreach to, you know, just automate it all the way. So we have our initial four touch point sequence and let's say a prospect says, Hey, you know, this sounds really good. Could you send me some more information? We can just auto enroll that prospect into a sequence sequence called the info sequence. And what this is, is it's going to reply with templated emails and follow up until they reply through the sequence. And that's basically it. And we basically have that logic across multiple scenarios. So let's say someone's like, Hey, this sounds really great. Let's hop on a call. We put them into the power subsequence. So the power subsequence is pushing them towards the call. Like, Hey, sounds great. I'm free this day and this day. Let's hop on a call. If they don't reply to that, it just keeps following up. You know, the future sequence may be if someone's like, Hey, this sounds great, but reach out to me in Q4. Q3 is way too busy right now. And then we could schedule a meeting for Q4 so that we can, once again, reach out to them at that time. And because Smart Lead has such a good API, we can literally, once again, automate this entire thing. And this takes me to step five, doing this process weekly. So let's kind of look at what exactly we've built. So we're able to look at the past seven days on LinkedIn jobs and identify if a hiring manager is on the job post. If there is, then we just enrich their data and better contacts. We take the ballots, we add the leads into the smart lead, and then we run this every seven days. If the hiring manager is not on the job post, we run the logic to identify senior roles that are relevant to the job. We identify senior roles at each company making that API call inside the sales navigator, enriching their data. Once again, all the ballots will get added into the smart leads and then we'll Rerun this every seven days and all the catch-alls will get added to Scrubby and then all of the valid emails will once again get added to the campaign. So now let's kind of look at the math behind this and, and why this works so well. And it's probably the greatest acquisition system for recruiters. So we will always start off with 10 inboxes and the 10 inboxes are each sending 35 emails per inbox. That's about 350 total emails per day. And then we take the 340 total emails times 20 sending days per month, which equals 7,000 emails per month that we're sending that are hyper targeted, hyper relevant and hyper personalized. And if these 7,000 emails can get an average of four to 7% response rates, we're looking at a total of anywhere from 280 to 490 total responses. And across those responses, if we just have 30% showing interest into the offer and the product, we're looking at about 84 to 147 MQLs, marketing qualified leads. And out of the marketing qualified leads, let's say we're able to set 50% of those into appointments. We're looking at an additional 42 to 73 appointments per month by implementing this completely automated system. And literally all we have to do is the inbox management. That's it. And so that's the simple way of how to generate leads for your recruitment firm or staffing company. If you want this set up for you, you want us to be able to automate this so that it does it every seven days for you, go ahead and book a call at leadbird.io and we'll manage this and take care of this entire setup and management for you. And that's it. That's basically it. If this video is of any value, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and help this channel grow.